respected brothers and sisters. It only hits us when we have a corpse in front of us, when somebody has died in the family, somebody who's close has died. And the reason I give that example is many a times our hearts have become so hardened and so darkened <coughs> is that when we do see a corpse, a brother or a sister's body in front of us in a coffin or as a mayyid, we don't feel anything. Sins have penetrated into a, such a manner, in such a manner that we don't we have moved away from this feeding of Akhira and the remembrance of the day of judgment. So that, that's why he's the example that when somebody close or somebody who's beloved passes away, that's when it really strikes us. But you know what? This dunya is only a short period. 60, 70 years. And then I will have to go into my grave, a lonely pit, and I will have to resurrect and stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lonely as well. But your ultimate goal is the akhirah. Your ultimate preparation is the akhirah. Hence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again reminds us in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring into accountability for every action that you have done. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept the good deeds that you have done. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will recompense you for the bad deeds that you have done. Ta'ala, talking about the many, many characteristics of the Muslims, says in this holy Quran, but individuals who are Muslim stay away from activities which are play and jest. Stay away from activities which are of uselessness. Stay away from activities which makes shaitan happy and make with Allah, makes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unhappy. Muslims are those people who are always reflecting on those principles. Make use of your time in this dunya of 50, 60 years. And more importantly, you know, specifically for the students, next, I think it's tomorrow, the, the pharmacy ball is coming up where you know, a time of again play and jest, but more, more importantly, the mixing of the sexes, the you know, the fahash, the open sinning, as well as the you know, the surrounding of alcohol and other sins. As Muslims, you need to ask yourself the question that as the believer in one Allah, as the ummah of the, of the Prophet Muhammad, as those, pe as those people who will enter first in Jannah, for those people who wait for Jannah, the equivalent at the minimum to the size of this dunya or ten times bigger. The person who will hold on to the banner of Islam and enter into Jannah. Am I worthy to be in this position of going to a place where it is surrounded by shaitaniya, evil deeds? We need to ask ourselves this question. You may walk away from this Jumu'ah thinking, you know what? I've listened to the talk and I'll just do it. Khair. But remember, the Prophet says, You abdin ala ma ma that every person will be resurrected in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just the way they have died. So ask yourself this question. You can't guarantee this. But if you will die tomorrow or not, a person may be going to the ball or going to a club, going to a pub, going to this arena where it is an Islamic, and at that time the angel of death may come upon them and extract their soul. So let me remind specifically the students who are even intending to go to the ball. Now change your intention. Even if you have bought your suits, your clothing for the brothers and the sisters alike, you have bought your clothing, you have given your, you know, your booking fees, whatever it may be, change your intention. Make intention that I will not attend a place, not just the ball, but throughout my life I will not attend a venue in which is surrounded by those things which displeasure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not far-fetched. That you have gone to the brink of attending this ball tomorrow and then you may change your intention. Allah is pleased with, with you and Allah is so pleased with you that Allah encrypts your name amongst those people who enter into Jannah. So we pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguards the Muslims from places which they should not be attending. And for specifically the Muslims who are making intentions for the ball, Allah protect you. Allah protect all of us. Allah may help you, empower you, give the tawfiq. To be able to change the intentions of not going to the to this ball, which is, and as I say, it's not just the ball, but any place or venue which is surrounded by fahsh and open sin, Allah protect all of us. Now, when you commit sin after sin after sin, the heart gets darkened and darkened and darkened. 
What happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seals the heart. 